about innovation, right? You use your uh, T dot model. Yep. Right. You talk about that. You talk about breakthrough innovation. And we talk about how you take strategy. Innovation comes out of strategy and then drives the business, right? Well, if the professor is doing a good job and using his book that I read, those things are all things he's teaching, me, right? Okay. But McDonald's is just a hamburger company, right? So how do we innovate? Anybody, can anybody think of a McDonald's innovation? Happy Meal. Happy Meal? Actually, that was one. That was a happy, uh, an innovation in McDonald's. Any other ones you can think of in McDonald's? It's kind of hard. Hmm? Uh, yeah, McDonald's is a brand that's been a great innovator, right? Everybody knows the brand. It doesn't matter what language you know that brand. Um, how about the Egg McMuffin? Egg, Egg McMuffin was invented in 1971 by one of our franchisees, one of our owner operators. And he was looking for a way to have breakfast at McDonald's. Back before all of you were born, in 1970, right? Um, McDonald's didn't have breakfast. McDonald's didn't have drive throughs McDonald's didn't have a Big Mac. <coughs> McDonald's didn't have a quarter pound. Those are all examples of innovation at McDonald's. And why have we done that innovation? To drive sales, to drive profitability, right? Build the brand, right? Sustain the business. Sustain, sustain, the business. sustain, sustain yes, and sustain. expand the business, right? Okay. McDonald's started serving breakfast in 1971. Our closest competitor, Burger King, when did they start breakfast? Last week. <laughs> right? Wendy's, Wendy's not so much, a little bit. Uh, but McDonald's has owned the breakfast market as a quick serve retailer, as fast food, since 1971. Right? We figured out, so that was our way of innovating. Okay? Um, McDonald's taught people how to eat in their cars. <laughs> Think about that. In China, uh, four years ago, I went to the very first drive-through drive restaurant in China, in Guangzhou, China. Very first one. People would go to the drive-through, they order their food, they get their food, they park their car, and they go inside and they sit down and eat. Think about that. Because the Chinese people did not did not know how to use a drive-thru. They didn't know they were supposed to get their food, put it here, drive, and eat the french fries like that. <laughs> so we're teaching people around the world to drive and eat at the same time. But another McDonald's innovation, China uh, has a growing population and they have a mobile population. Everyone is buying cars and McDonald's is building drive-thru after drive-thru after drive-thru. So some examples of uh, McDonald's innovation. Do you know the uh, top innovation in Asia Pacific right now for McDonald's? Is home delivery. Oh. Ah. I used that one. Have you seen it? I, I, I used to use it. Yeah, in Korea it's big. Yeah. Huge in Korea. It's really driving sales in Korea. You ring up somebody on your mobile phone and, and in Korea they actually have an app. Yeah. Right? And then they bring it to your house. Okay? Big in Korea, Malaysia, Singapore. Singapore has 125 restaurants with very few drive throughs Delivery is like a drive through in Singapore. Are very, very standard. Like in the United States, number one is always Big Mac Extra Value in the United States. But number five might be different. So I need to know which restaurant you're going to, okay? Which I could find from Jeep. You could tell me, and I could tell you by GPS, where you're at, which restaurant to go to, do they have your menu item. But the complexities of keeping uh, the menu items on your phone are very, very difficult to get over. The other thing you have to is how do I know that you have come, that you're now on my uh, on my lot? That's the other technical problem we have. And what about like mechanical innovations? Mm -hmm. like, mechanical innovations, yeah. Like suppose this is the McDonald's store, usually it has a window or, or two windows, mm -hmm. but what if we, we develop some sort of mechanical innovation, like all the yep. cars, they yep. they get they get the delivery to some sort of uh, uh, some some sort of belt conveyor. Yeah, we have conveyor belt restaurants. Yeah. Uh, you know, one way to do it: you go to iPass. You know, iPass on the highway. 
You have the little thing in your car yeah, yeah. and you go under? Yeah. We, were, we tried to put together an innovation with iPass to pay. Because when you go to iPass, where does it go? It goes to your bank account or to your credit card, right? But the technology was so expensive we couldn't afford it. You have to remember that one McDonald's restaurant is usually a, 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 it's a small business. And our franchisees have like maybe two or three or five restaurants. So he thinks like a very small business. And to put a $10,000 thing there or a conveyor belt is a lot of money to him. Now we do have dual lane drive throughs and three lane drive throughs and four lane drive throughs very similar. The real challenge is we can think it up. You and me, we can think it up and we can write it down. But when it, how do you make it work operationally? And we sell 1.5 million hamburgers per day. How do we make it work oper operationally, very efficiently, and how do we make it at a McDonald's price? If I charge $10 for a hamburger, it's very easy to do that. Right? So it's a great example of some technology I can do. I can make cell phone ordering today in the US, today. But Visa is going to take a fee, AT&T is going to take a fee, and uh, your mobile phone is going to take a fee. So it, do I want to go buy a $5 hamburger that costs me $7 because of the fees? I don't. So we need to wait in the U.S. for the technology to catch up. In Korea, they already saw it. See? So sometimes a great innovation may not work operationally. I even thought about OnStar. You know, OnStar or uh, in a Ford car, what do they call it? In Ford, you can talk to your car and it goes over the cell phone. How's that? Sync. Sync. Seen the commercials? You guys got to watch more TV. <laughs> But we've, we've, we partnered with Ford to look at how can you order from your restaurant, uh, from your car. Driving down, I can talk to my car, please order me a Big Mac. Well, they have a GPS to know where you are. You know why we'll never do it? Because of liability. What happens if I'm ordering from McDonald's and accident. I have an accident? Who's going to get sued? Oh, excuse me, I have a question. Yes. Uh, the last time I I, uh, I went to McDonald's, uh, I I used I used the, the drive through, uh -huh. and then uh, actually in the car we have the seven people. There is a small small vehicle, uh -huh. but uh, we can uh, we could order the uh, we could order uh, two orders, uh -huh. the one one uh, one. Uh -huh. That's why we have to drive three times. Really? Yeah. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, that I found from that, uh, what about this one? Why you uh, maybe you already thought about this one? Uh -huh. uh, I provided uh, to make an order uh -huh. by the voicemail, like. Uh, yeah. But why? What about the touchpad, like? Uh, touchpad. Yeah. yeah. Touchpad. We or yeah, very good. Or how about a kiosk? Yeah. Like I can I can walk in, like when you go to United or you're leaving and you punch in your airline. Yeah. What if you could order, come to a kiosk and order yeah. punch it in yourself, right? Just you know, to open the window and then choose yep. the pad. Yep. Maybe it is more easier or like the more faster. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Or the. Uh, He's got uh, lots of ideas, doesn't yeah. he? <laughs> so you post the order and then you pay and then you pick up the 